Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is about few basic maths activity and this activity you can do with your 4 year old and 5 year old. So I wanted to show some basic homemade waste materials which I had with me. You can use them for the uh, techniques and activity for your kids at home. In this first activity is I took a cardboard and some bottle caps of a milk container and I glued them according to the space because I'll be putting a paper in front of it. So if you think your toddler is um, a grown up and smart enough to handle more calculations so you can leave lesser space and add more bottle caps. So I uh, am teaching my four year old basic math addition and uh, I wanted to teach him uh, step by step so started with number so how many stones do you have here here three stones so how many can you count the stones count the stones five so what will you put over here Good. Now you get the concept. Good. Three. Good. Good. And one more here. One stone here. So can you count all the stones here? here? And five and six. Good. Okay. So where is number six? Mama. Good job. Mama. Yes. Mama. Yeah, I know, but it's six. <laughs> nine. <laughs> no, it's not nine. It's six. six. My go. Six. This next activity uh, I did is that I took a cardboard as you can see and I took few stones. So uh, this activity uh, includes a lot of uh, different techniques for your child even if you're not doing maths. So um, later on I added few stones on it because I felt the distance were, was a bit lesser than expected. So what they're going to do is basically um, According to like if you have one plus one that they are going to circle uh, two stones with a rubber band. So this helps with their calculation and this also helps with their motor skills because uh, holding a rubber band and putting it around something is not an easy task. So um, this can be also done in general for a motor skill activity as well. If I had stones so you can use whatever you have at home. You can use buttons or thumb tags if you have them. So this was an um, easier way and a technical way and you can distract them for a, for a while. So uh, in a clip you'll see what my toddler did. We'll circle it around three fingers. Right, this one also. You tried napka chukiona. Let him try now. Good. So, this next activity is how you can divide a number. So, 1 plus 4 is 5. So, I took a pipe cleaner and few straws. It is not necessary that uh, you can you go and buy few things for doing an activity i had straws so i use straws you get if you have beads you can use beads whatever you have at home you can use that so i twisted the pipe cleaner so they can understand that they they have to um, break the number in two parts so on one side we're putting four straws and on the other putting one straws so they can you can they can hold them or you can hold it for them and tell them that dividing a number in two parts can make you teach a good way of addition as well this next activity is a logical ga game activity for the children who are still learning calculations or learning um, numbers 
and different techniques of counting so I took few cups and I wrote numbers from 1 till 7 and I drew a few cups on a piece of paper and made some dots on them so this is how they can count the dots or use their fingers uh, for how many dots are there in a picture and they can stack the cups accordingly so I made a simple one and I took a technical one so they can count and they can make um, the stacking cups and learn calculations and logical games and learn the sequence or whatever is made on the paper number two first then number three and then you'll post number four no what is this one, one. okay Okay, next what? Two. Two. Where is number two? Good. Number one. Then where is number one? Mm. Where is it? Find it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah. E -e. Good. This next activity is an interesting activity for me for children who are uh, learning addition. Um, I made a number line on the top of the Ziploc and the, this Ziploc had a button on the top so uh, I placed the number uh, in the Ziploc and uh, you know you can tell, ask them to add and then uh, move the button according to where they see the number. So I felt uh, this was an interesting activity and you can teach your children uh, different ways of addition and this activity can keep them distracted for a while and also help them with um, addition and subtraction so with this also you can teach them subtraction and you know you can put the button on number three and tell them how much do you uh, think that it can reduce so you can reuse the ziplock because I wrote this number line um, with the help of a board marker.